Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, six losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Mechacala, Russia. Amari Rakek Akhmedov! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner! This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Just missed with the left there. And they separate. Whiffs on the right hand. Stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Head kick lands and he's hurt. Nice kick. 
Unable to land the head kick there. Right hand on point. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Head kick lands. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Just over three minutes to go in the first round. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Beautiful strike. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Connects with a right. Switch, he lands to the body. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, beautiful hook by Ahmed. There's no give on that leg kick. Big body kick. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Punch, 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 take down. Let's go, come on. Just missed with the leg kick. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Head kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Gets hit with a kick. Not there. That was stuck in. Nice strike. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. with a right. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Nice punch land over the top. Got clip with a right hand. Ten seconds. And that one certainly found the target. Five minutes in the books. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. You have two very talented fighters Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Oh, he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. There continue to be openings there. He targeted it effectively earlier in the fight, and the defense hasn't prevented him from doing so. If it's not broken, no need to fix it. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Big head kick. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. He's 
very tricky when he throws that body. He's Slips the punch nicely there. Nice sweeping punch. Just misses with the punch by Lee. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Unable to connect with the right. It's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. He's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Nice punch by Lee. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Akmedov. Nice straight punch. Well, he misses with the left punch there. I mean, he's cutting down the sides with these beautiful leg kick. You got to whip his hip into that kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Just misses with the straight right. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, he heard a belly jab. Ahmedov's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Right on the button. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Oh, Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to work very bad for his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike in the night. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. That cut on the nose, manageable earlier, not so much right now. Really, really bad. The blood flow continuing to become a factor, and you gotta think at some point, if it gets any worse, they will have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, he will start to see it taking effect. And he continues to work the body here. Akhmedov gets caught with that punch. 
Muay Thai plum. And they separate. Oh, yes, it is a lost guard in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's going right from the chin, too. Checks the leg kick. And now he's got the tie clinch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. He misses with the right hand. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Oh, man, head kick land. Back to the head kick now. He lands again. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Big kick lands. Just over three minutes to go. All right, single collar tie now. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Nice leg kick lands. Kick to the body by Luke. Blocks the shot. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Oh, that's a good right hand. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Akhmedov. <laughs> Big head kick land. Nice punch lands over the top. Way to hide that leg kick. Akhmedov's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Slips the punch. Oh, and he counters with a hook and he landed the punch there, or so it appeared. Nice job by Akhmedov. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Big leg kick land. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Straight punch lands. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Get the plan exactly where you want. Three rounds in the can, we're headed to the championship round. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but...
That is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice punch lands. It's broken, I think. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, that right hand is on point. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole... Oh. Oh. oh, one of the best head kicks you'll ever see! You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Akhmedov going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Some serious bruising going on in and around that right thigh. May want to check a leg kick or two. Lee circling now towards the left. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Nice sneaky head kick. And just misses with a left hook there. What a body kick. Again going back to the jab just out of range. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Under two minutes to go in the round. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, blocks the shot. Both fighters throwing heat now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big power shot there. Got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. It's as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. All right, he 
closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Nice. 15 seconds remain in the round. Clean with the right hook. 10 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, beautiful strike attempt there as he lands the hook. Beautiful hook. Really did a great job of keeping his back hand on his chin, throwing that hook and putting it exactly where he needed to go. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next Ready? round. High Ready? number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Beautiful punch. Nice leg kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Just out of range with that left hook. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, nice combination there by Lee. Pretty significant welt to the left side. That's a really strong leg kick there by Akmedo. How good is that right hand? Gets touched by that kick there. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Big leg kick land. Just unable to quite find that range. Back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Ooh, what a punch. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish, or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everything fly. Nice job defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what is a pretty significant cut. You cannot allow that to get hit anymore, right? Because the board starts to split, but the blood starts to go into the eye. It not only is damaging in terms of the physical appearance of the cut, but the blood going into the eye almost completely shuts down that side of your face. There's no tell on that leg kick. Good punch land. Nice body kick. Nice counter shot there. Two minutes now to go in this one. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Akhmedov. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Sneaky head kick. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's going to have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Looking for the counter right now, no good. Oh, eats a knee to the head. Another nice knee there. Winded up on the right there to no avail. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. You gotta get that takedown for me, forward and take Lands flush with that right hand. How about that shin? Oh, he goes to the counter right just out of range. 
kick blocked by Akmeta. Good stick. Visibly limping here. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. He got a bad! Nice hammer fist. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, side control now. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down the opponent. Better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. Thing. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight.